Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to another vlog. Uh, we are back in the northeast. Yes, I am no longer in France. For those of you that didn't know, uh, yeah, everyone's been kicked out of France. And uh, all the French Alpine resorts, where I was before, not all of them, one of them, but all of them have closed now. And they do not exist until Corona has gone. Or next winter. Either way, either way. But since everything seemingly is a bit um, apocalyptic, tonight that is what we're going to try and photograph. An apocalyptic scene. And I can't think of anywhere better in the northeast of England than to come to the steelworks near Redcar, near Middlesbrough, in that kind of area, right in the middle actually. Um, yeah, it's a little bit like a wasteland. I was hoping for some gorgeous side lights, but there is a lot of clouds, um, so a bit of messing around might need to be done. But yeah, I think we're on to a winner tonight. Quite excited to see what we can get. I came down to this little point near a red car called Paddy's Hole and uh, I was taken aback by one, the industry and slash the unusual beauty of the place. Now, just behind me over here, we've got these amazing cabins. Now, if I can Im imagine an apocalyptic world, I can imagine something like this, a little safe haven out of the way, near the industrial wastelands over there, places that people aren't expecting to be found. And then a, a camp starting. And that's my, my, almost my vision that I can see here, the apocalyptic wastelands over there and somebody's trying to start a new a fresh a home something safe hidden between the sand dunes so that's the the story i'm trying to produce really and now it's just trying to get that composition that's something where i can get that these cabins here so i really like all the chimneys that come out the top of them as well i think they look really special and this grass, the way it complements against the greens. And this is what I was hoping I was getting that, hoping I was going to get that beautiful side light coming through, light up all this grass, light up them buildings, light up the, uh, the industry, and hopefully get a nice shot. Hopefully still will get a nice shot, but that light, I don't think it's going to happen. So it's going to be maybe more of a, a dark and dramatic sky. But I think I need to get higher to get the correct vantage point to pull this shot off. Wandering around trying to find a composition, something that works, and I'm going to talk to you about what I'm struggling with at the moment. So a lot of the land starts roughly around this height here. Um, but then what I don't get is I don't get the separation between the huts here and the industry just behind. So what I needed to do, I needed to be higher. And these points over here are higher. But then this is off to the side and kind of lost. And it doesn't look like it belongs to the scene. So where I was stood before, up on there, it's probably going to be the best place to get that height so I can get that separation and also you know be able to tell that story and everything works all works together nicely I think the line that I'm on now pointing this way and that way it's probably going to be the point I want to be on but now I just need to get the height to get that separation between the camp and the industry and I imagine as I go higher, you will start to see that separation become a thing, which you can. And you start to get what I'm talking about. Ah, 
perfect, 24 out of 70. to get some pretty nice light coming through which uh, was a massive surprise um, but I'm going to talk you through my composition there we are okay so what I've got is I've got this lovely section of concrete which really gives that wasteland feeling um, I really like that section of land down here and then I've got this little house over here and then the rest of the buildings and I quite like the way that one stands out on its own I really quite like that and that was the most important part. That's the reason why I came to where I am, that gap between the buildings, giving that separation between civilization and that wasteland, that industrial wasteland. I know I keep saying wasteland a lot, but this is what I'm going for tonight. That's the whole dream and aspiration of this shot. In the background, my focal point, I've got the old steelworks that doesn't exist anymore, which is a massive shame, special for this, especially for this area, the northeast of England. A lot of jobs were lost when that place went. Um, but I think it might be getting sold to the Chinese, or has been sold to the Chinese, and they might be reopening it. Who knows? But yeah, so you've got the steelworks in the background just over here, and then for the sky. I'm not going to do anything over saturated it's going to be quite understated but I'm going to really dodge and burn and get that deep dark shadows and it's you know I want it to become moody and dramatic now for the actual image itself what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three different images one overexposed right there one exposed correctly right here and one underexposed for that sky and then when I blend that all together, hopefully creates a nice image. Yeah, you've seen them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wander down into the buildings and see if I can find another composition that involves the buildings in a little bit more of an intimate manner. Sort of maybe peering between the buildings, shooting out into the industry, something else. But I really quite like this first shot. I think I've got something quite nice. So I do. I think I've got something quite nice. So I'm pretty sure I've just found my final shot and there are a few things that I'm not keen about but being uniformed and organised doesn't give that feeling of the end of the world and you know the coronavirus is one sorry to say um, but this final scene I think speaks volumes for itself and uh, I'm going to go into the back of the camera so you can see what I'm looking at so what I've got is I've got these beautiful grass banks here and I'm thinking about maybe doing a focus stack but also I don't know I don't think it helps tell the story um, what I think I will focus on is this sign here and what I love about this sign is the fact that it's broken broken as anything and it says hello in there and it looks like it's been there for so so long it looks like the world has ended apocalypse old works old industry sign hello is anyone out there you know it's telling that story so bloody well I couldn't have made it up I couldn't have asked for anything more so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the sign 
and then to get the shot to make it about that sign as I'm gonna leave my aperture open quite wide because I just I just think that's gonna help tell that story so it's gonna seem a little bit soft in the background a little bit soft in the immediate foreground and hopefully your eye is going to be drawn to that sign that says hello I've got it on a 5.4 crop I'm shooting on L10 um, and it's one third of a second on f3.2 firing it off and then for the sky I'm going to darken it up even more and then what I'll do is I'll blend them in together and that's shot on one sixth of a second firing that off and it's dark it's moody it's dramatic it's the end of the world photography for sure um, apocalypse now photography but yeah I think I'm gonna leave that as my final shot for this week's vlog and uh, the sky is kicking off over there but I didn't feel like it was appropriate to have bright vivid colors in these shots not when they're, they're meant to be sell it, telling that story and selling that story of the apocalypse. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think of the theme and whether I nailed it. Uh, I don't know yet. I've not edited the pictures. But it feels right. It feels right. It feels like it is the end of the world. Um, yeah. So enjoy your week don't catch corona and uh enjoy a bit of solitude and uh i'll see you next week peace out